what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a maintenance video for you guys. I know in my previous video I asked if you guys would like to see videos like this and most of you guys said you would love this. So here we are doing my very first one. I think this is my first one, maybe number two, but the official maintenance video. Um, this is one thing that I think everyone should definitely know how to do if you're new to mountain biking. This is definitely something, one of the first things you should know how to do because at least for me, when I first started getting into mountain biking, I was constantly having to do this. So this is something that I learned how to do very quickly. So today we're just going to be adjusting my caliper and you might be asking what leads to you needing to adjust your caliper. And a lot of times when you're riding, you'll hear this scraping noise or you might feel that your bike's a little bit sluggish and you're exerting more energy than you should. Those are probably some of the first common signs that you can see that will let you know that you might need to adjust your caliper. Without further ado, let's get into it. So one of the first things that you want to do is just make sure that you actually do need to adjust your caliper. It's just by spinning your wheel. You might hear a rubbing noise or you might just see your wheel slowing down a lot and it's just not moving freely. So there are two ways to go about this. One is the super quick and easy method Method, which is holding your brake lever down, whichever brake that you're, or caliper you're wanting to work on. When you're doing this, it's very, very crucial to make sure that you are slowly loosening each bolt and not loosening one all the way out at a time. And you also want to make sure there's only a little bit of wiggle room in your caliper. You don't want your caliper flying all over, all over the place and moving around like crazy. You just want it to move ever so slightly. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking my multi-tool and I'm just unscrewing one bolt at a time. They're not even, you can run the risk of getting your caliper out of alignment again. Then I'm just going to put my foot on the brake and then I'm going to start tightening bolt by bolt the caliper up again. Once you have all the bolts tightened, then you can just give your wheel a spin. So if you see it spinning freely, no rubbing noises or anything like that, that means you got your caliper in alignment again and you're good to go. So if you're still having issues, which this method usually works for me about 90% of the time, but the other 10%, I might have to use the manual method, which is the same process, except you're not going to be using the brake at all. You're just going to manually hold the caliper. So what I'm doing again is I'm just going to make sure I have a little bit of wiggle room in my caliper and I'm going to move my caliper around so slightly with my wheel spinning to see if I hear any noise and I'm going to keep moving it until I don't hear anything rubbing on it. And then that's when I'm going to start tightening up the bolts little by little. The first method didn't work for you. The last method hopefully did. And that is how you adjust your caliper. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys like seeing these kind of videos. I'm in no means a professional bike mechanic whatsoever. These are just things that I have had to learn in the process of mountain biking. So hopefully this was helpful for some of you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And bye. Thank you.